Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So we are actually on part number 46 of Let's Play The Sims 4, The Lex Life on the same day or still day one of our vacation slash get away from the daily trial and tribulations of being parents of triplets and honestly possibly being parents once more. So again, Faye's pregnant. Shh, we don't know that. Well, she doesn't know that. And uh, she's come down to take a rest while Hank makes dinner plans. Yes, tonight is the night that Hank is actually um, thinking about possibly proposing. I was totally going to go have Hank make uh, or order a pizza, but I thought, damn, that's so damn romantic. Like, yes, let's order a pizza. And then, hey, <laughs> let me put a ring on her that's made out of pepperoni that was bit in the middle. You know what I'm saying? That'd be gorgeous. And the ring, all, an olive attached. Like, can you picture that for a second? I thought that was pretty damn genius. But although Faye probably wouldn't care either which way, Hank is going to try to prepare something the best that he can. And honestly, he's going to make some fish tacos. Yes, because he is a Sanchez after all. And he's going to go ahead and make a garden salad on the side. Now, I don't know about you, but I really wish that The Sims 4 would add and introduce wine. Because I feel like that would be so elegant to serve a bottle of wine um, with your with your dinners. And, you know, when you have like dinner parties and things like that, like wine would be such a great um thing to accompany your meals I think anyways but he's exhausted so obviously after they eat dinner and whatever the situation is um he's so cute we're definitely gonna have the two uh take a nap and then later we are going to have them go off and uh possibly go somewhere a little bit later and hopefully he will get the courage to propose uh I don't know yet I haven't decided. Actually, those fish oil tacos were really, really, really... Oh, no. Put it down. Put it down. Put it... Oh, you're just trying it. You just... Put it down. Put it down. Good boy. Okay. And you gotta go peepees? -pee He's gotta go peepees. -pee oh, poor little baby gotta go peepees. -pee now, would you put down the freaking tacos? Because you're supposed to wait for your freaking soon-to-be fiancé, your freaking little turd biscuit supreme. Thank you. Once he's done with the damn garden salad, you may... Go to the bathroom. And if you piss yourself in the process, well, damn it, Hank, that's a sacrifice you gotta make. Okay? <laughs> damn. Okay? Be careful with the knife. You do need those fingers. Yeah, yeah. You know. You do, boo boo. You, 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 oh, you cute. Mm -hmm. He already knows. He doesn't need me to tell him a damn thing. Feeling himself all sorts of ways. I don't know, but I love this freaking house. Like, I could see them living in this. Hank's like, yeah, I could get used to this. Uh, I definitely <laughs> could see them living in something like that with the kids who by the way are supposed to be aging up when we get back so i'm gonna try to have him hurry up and toss this bowl of salad and then come over here and use the last room right after he is finished and then i think faye is still she's still resting away sleeping ah oh, so tired i really hope there's a lot here for us okay cool so there's a big bowl of the garden salad and of course hank's gonna probably try and taste that too so he's waltzing over to the bathroom um i'm gonna have him go downstairs really really quick oh no she's already awake oh she's gonna come upstairs and see the deliciousness that mr hank has made for her oh actually kind of want to um is there? There is. Okay, so if we came over here and placed... Well, actually, we'll just place the food there. Oh, we can't buy candles or anything. That sucks. Well, I was hoping we would be able to maybe have, like, some candles and just make it super duper romantic. Actually, do these turn on? The All oh, the fireplace turns on. Great. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn off all the lights. That's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off all the lights... And we are going to have Hanky Poos go over here and light his, um, his fireplace. And Faye is going to come over here in just a split second. Hopefully Hank can pull this together. But first he needs to wash his hands. He's so freaking tired, you guys. He's probably going to pass out. It's going to be so romantic. He should have taken a nap before he did this at least. Uh, I wonder if he can take an energy drink or something. Can he? Because that would be so helpful. Oh, look at him. How handsome is this? Handsome Hank. I mean, really. All right. So let me see if I can change his outfit to some formal attire. 
Uh, I am going to have her also do the same. She's like fully energized, <laughs> like so freaking energized. We're going to have her do formal as well. And Hank's going to grab um, some tacos and he's going to come over here. And uh, actually, you know what? She should sit down. That's what she should do. She should sit down. Hank should go take a nap. No, I'm definitely going to have her come over here and uh, give him a big fat kiss. They can woohoo in the observatory. Get the hell out of here. I did not know that. We need to have this happen. But they're going to come over here and um, love on each other a little bit. Let's see. We can do an embrace. God, there's so much woohoo we can do. Like, so much woohoo. Like, where do you want it? In the kitchen, in the closet, upside down, upside down, in the broom, maybe uh, back stairs. I don't know. Underneath the stairs, on the side stairs, on the stairwell, maybe even in the grass, green grass, bright grass, fireflies. I don't know. Like, what do you want to do? You can do it anywhere. <gasps> That was crazy, but I loved it. It was great. Sounded good. Might have been some things that didn't make sense there, but that's okay. Oh, Aw, look at how beautiful this is. Hugging by the fireside. Like, is this not the sweetest thing that you ever, you ever did see? No, maybe not. I just think it's gorgeous. Like, Hank really knows how to wow a woman. Like, just wow her, woo her, woo her, whatever. Wow her and woo her. Like, wow, you know? I think that's so sweet. So he, she's going to come and sit down right here, and uh, he is going to give her some tacos to eat or a salad or a half-eaten taco. I don't know yet. Let's go and find something. Uh, we're going to give her a little salad to start off with. Here she is, madam. All right, and she can go ahead and eat that garden salad. Hank's going to come over here and also pick himself up a bowl. Okay. All right, sounds good. And then hopefully he'll come sit next to her because that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Sweet deal. So there they are having some lovely dinner by the fireside, which I think is such a beautiful fi picture. I almost said fixture. I don't know why I would have said that, but that's what it kind of felt like to me. I think that's so freaking gorgeous. Don't you think? I don't know. I think this is coming out quite well. Such a beautiful getaway. Nice little cottage. Beautiful dinner. Handsome, coolito husband. Yes. Or fiance. I love it. So as they're enjoying their meal, um, I think they're going to go to bed. And then Hank's going to kind of wake her up in the midst of everything and be like, hey, 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 let's go. You know, like, let's let's get out of here. But uh, I do want to have a deep conversation with her and tell her how much I love her and how much she means to me and, and everything else like that. Um, I think she she deserves somebody who's going to love her for life and – and treat her like a princess and, you know, give her everything that she could possibly ever want and then more. Do you know what I mean? Like, I truly do believe it. Of course, Hank's going to fall asleep. Face down, culito up. <gasps> Damn. That is pretty much... <laughs> That is pretty much how this night is going, but it went pretty well. It went pretty well. It really, 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 really did. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie for a second. This is probably a pretty funny freaking picture. This is actually quite hilarious. Let me go back up and try to take a picture of these and try to take as many photos as I possibly can. Because after each LP and each episode, I like to do little, little additional information slash stories or whatever the situation is. And you guys can find those on my website at xurbansims.com. So once Hank does indeed wake up, um, I'm going to take him to the nearest bed, which doesn't appear to be upstairs. It actually appears to be downstairs. So we're going to try to get him to go to sleep as soon as possible. I'm not sure which. Okay, we'll have him go in this one where he's actually going to put out the fire and go to sleep. And then we're going to do the same for Faye. So hopefully he'll wake up here in just a quick moment and get his butt to bed. So there he is. He's sleeping. So we're going to wait probably until he gets a good level of energy up. And, um, you know, Faye's feeling a little, a little nauseous. And you know what? I mean, in The Sims, you can literally find out if you're pregnant instantaneously. It doesn't happen that way in real life. She's nervous. She does have a pregnancy test handy. So she, she's going to sneak out of bed. She's nervous about this because if she is pregnant, this could change everything for her. But she's going to come over here and she's going to take that pregnancy test and, and see kind of what she's working with. Um, I do think it's a, probably a good idea for her to have an idea. And she just can't stop thinking that it's possible that she's pregnant again. So here she is on the toilets, sitting on the toilet, sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. And she is indeed freaking pregnant. 
So she's going to go ahead and wake up Hank. Hank's sitting here just kind of contemplating what news she should possibly have for him or she could possibly have for him. So I'm going to actually take pictures and stuff of him kind of sitting on this bed just thinking of what what exactly could be coming his way. This is so freaking awesome. This is definitely becoming more like a story. I love it. Um, so we'll see. We'll just take this picture really fast. And he looks so weird right now sitting there and all I could see is his drug strap. Whoa, hello. Whoa. That, my friends, is very inappropriate. Jennifer, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> okay. So she's going to come sit down next to him, hopefully. Oh, and he's like, what is it, sweetie? Elizabeth. I'm pregnant. Sweet You're pregnant? How did that happen? <gasps> he's excited, though. And he's so excited he's going to have some garden salad. No, he's going to come up here and he is going to go ahead and embrace her and love on her and kiss her like a real man would and tell her, you know what, let's, let's go somewhere right now. Oh, it, it, like, it's crazy. It's spontaneous. But let's go. Where are we going to go, dude? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm going to take you somewhere special. Okay? We're, we're going. So it's definitely going to happen. They are going to go, uh, I think, to the falls or whatever the situation is. And um, he is going to propose. It is official. Oh, did she just scare him? God, what a little turd biscuit. <laughs> if she doesn't scare you a little bit, she probably ain't the one for you. But he loves her so much. So he's telling her, get dressed, be ready in five, because we are going to go have the time of your life. That's what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and change the outfit. And she's actually kind of like slightly shocked, I guess you could say, that um that he's still willing to be there for her. <laughs> uh. Even after this, like, you know, she's just used to the douchebags and the men that constantly like to run away and all that stuff. I'm actually going to put her in a workout outfit because they are going to go in the woods. So it makes kind of a little more sense. But, you know, she's just, if it was Zane, he'd probably be having a heart attack right now. Actually, he was because Charlene ended up having triplets, right? So whatever. She just needs to get used to the fact that she's dealing with a real man right now. So that was five minutes, guys. Let's go ahead and travel. We are going to go, let me see, travel with Faye. Okay, Summer Holiday looks like she's in jail. All right, so let's go ahead and see where we can go. I don't know if this is how it goes exactly, but we will definitely give it a try. All right, cool. So we're going to go over here to Granite Falls Forest. It is literally one o'clock in the morning. It is so crazy. Um, that it's this late and we are going out into the woods. Like all I can think of is bears right now. Like this would not be me in real life. So I guess I'm living kind of vicariously through them. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So Hank's here. She's here. She's like, what the hell is going on? Okay. It's gotta be a starry night or the timing just ain't right. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see. <gasps> oh my God. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this, you guys. This is beautiful. Oh my God. I got chills. Like seriously, I've got chills. Like this is so beautiful. Oh my God. He is so in love and I can just feel it so deeply uh, how in love he is with her. So he's going to come over here and he is going to uh, go ahead and hold her hands. That's the first thing that he is going to do. He's going to hold, hold her hands and, uh, you know, basically announce how much he, he's in love and how she's changed his life. And honestly, he couldn't want anybody else to be his baby's mama. And the first time he ever saw her, he, he knew there was something special about her. But honestly, he, he was just being young and dumb. And I'm not going to say the rest of that saying, but you get what I'm saying. Like, he should have went for her for the first time. And there would have been so many opportunities and, and things they would have been able to experience, but better late than never. And also maybe he would have been able to actually save her from a lot of the um, heartbreak that she endured that really wasn't necessary. So he's going to go ahead and offer her a rose um, as a symbol of his love. And she's just so like on cloud nine right now. She's so ecstatic, but we definitely need to get them a little bit closer to the falls, which are right here. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful location. It just kind of glimmers at night and it's just such a beautiful place to be. Um, all right. So I'm going to take her, I'm trying to think of a good place, maybe next, right next to the waterfall, like right here. And uh, let's go here together. Every time I think of let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which by the way, I haven't really been following that whole 
expansion pack really too much, but I should probably. All right, so where's Faye? Is she coming? Oh, she's just taking her sweet time. Hank is like hustling and bustling. He is already almost there, but that's good. That's going to give him kind of a moment to um, get the nerve up to actually do the damn thing. So he is waiting for her. And I think we see her kind of there off in the horizon a little bit. And um, he's waiting patiently for her to come. But he's been waiting for so long anyways, right? So who cares? Oh, my God. Don't start getting into my girl, dude. Don't start. She No, 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 baby kicks. Okay, you don't even have to go pee. What are you doing? Get over here. Okay? Get your butt over here. Thank you. All right, as long as this guy doesn't have to, like, no, we're fine. Why would you want to go in line? Did you have to? I don't know. That's weird. All right, so here she is. We're just going to exit all of these things. He's going to come over here and, uh, well, you thought earlier that would be the place where he would actually go ahead and propose to her, but definitely not. This is the moment that a lot of you guys have been absolutely waiting for. He is going to go ahead and drop down on one knee and ask this woman, will you be mine for a lifetime? <gasps> oh my God. I hope she says yes, you guys. I'm actually freaking terrified. She's going to say, no, bro, no. But I think this is such a beautiful picture and I hate the room the moment, but I definitely need to like get this on camera right now or in camera or whatever the hell it's called. I'm trying to get it so Hank and her like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's actually a really good picture sort of. I mean, it's this, that was the plum bob, but whatever. Um, let me see if I can actually get a little bit closer. There we go. I'm just trying to angle this damn thing out, but I think this is actually a really beautiful picture. So there we go. It's kind of shot off her head a little bit, but that's fine. All right, there we are. So, all right, you guys, this is definitely the moment. Do you think she's going to accept? I have no freaking idea. Oh my God. She's so excited. She actually wants to do this. This is so freaking amazing. So these two are now officially engaged and freaking Hank's heart is just swelling with freaking happiness. And he is so, so, so excited for them to, <laughs> for them to start their lives together. I mean, it couldn't have happened any, any, any better than this like this is truly a happy ever after for Faye and she finally got it even though at times it definitely seemed like she wasn't going to so they are so happy and excited and she can't wait obviously she just wants a very very um small little oh I thought they were like doing some sort of like secret handshake she wants a very small um what you might call it, like a small little wedding, nothing too crazy, but I'm so excited for her. Like, I'm so excited for her. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We could actually immediately elope here, but we cannot get married while on vacation. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go back to our lodging. And because uh, it's 3 a.m. And honestly, the only reason that Hank even brought her out here was to ask her to go ahead and uh, marry him. So we need to go back home and... Let's see. I think they're on their way now. So we need to go back home, go to sleep and stuff, because we're going to be leaving in the morning, and our little romantic getaway is almost over. But the cool thing about everything is that we get to go ahead and age up the triplets tomorrow, which I think is amazing. So I don't know why, but for some reason, we, um, we're we getting stuck. So I'm going to go actually just kind of switch to control Hank, and I hope that I'll be able to kind of pick up from there. I definitely want to age up the triplets in this part. That was like one of my main goals. And obviously for the proposal, which I don't know about you guys, but I think the dinner and the proposal was honestly utter perfection and couldn't and truly wouldn't have gone any better than that. If you guys think that, how, just let me know how you thought about the proposal. What do you thought about the dinner and all that jazz in the comments down below? I think it was seriously perfect. So that's just me. And I, <laughs> I struggle. Oh, damn hard to get moments like that to happen in my game. It's not even funny. So, all right, this place is a mess, but it's okay because we don't have to clean it up anyways. Uh, we could do a little, a little, uh, hot tubbing, uh, but now that she's pregnant, <laughs> she can't, so, yay. All right, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and have these two, uh, maybe have a little rump in the sack or something. I don't know. We're going to have them come over here and maybe do a little woohoo and then go to sleep so that in the morning they can kind of enjoy whatever time they have left here and, uh. 
I don't know. She's thinking of how freaking sick she probably feels. She should be showing, and she's not yet. So that could be a good sign. I hope it's not twins or triplets or anything like that. Because honestly, if it was you guys, the LP would be over. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't deal with triplets like any more than I already have. So yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. Let these two do their thing. Fast forward to the morning, and I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. So Faye just got off the phone and she's trying to call her mom and tell her that she just got engaged, but her mom was just instantly like snapping at her because she was sleeping still. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, Faye's super excited. She's on cloud freaking 989, like not even a cloud that you could possibly freaking reach. She's so happy. Her uh, vacation actually ends in about four hours and it's good because now the morning sickness is starting to kick in full gear. Uh, now that she is indeed pregnant, we are going to go ahead and change her appearance once more. Probably get her out of this super sexy revealing jumpsuit and into something just a little more conservative. Now that she cares, I think you can do whatever you want to do, boo. I'm not here to judge you, but you know, that's just her personal two cents. And her jugulars look ginormous because she is pregnant. Yes. Ginormous jugulars right now. Don't say that out loud. Your, your parents might get pissed off. All right. So let's go and uh, get her into something a little more comfortable. I actually feel like she would want to wear just like something huge right now <laughs> and ugly because she probably feels like crap. But I'm going to try to get her into something cute and not ugly. So this is actually a really nice little outfit. And I think maybe like a, her hair in a bun or something uh, would look really cute as well. Um, her hair's blonde, so I actually think that that looks really, really nice on her. She could actually do maybe a different... I wish I could change the color of this freaking headband, but I actually like this. This looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so it's just a lot more, you know, conservative, I guess. I don't know. Just a little less revealing. So I'm going to get her into some nice slacks that kind of match this. Probably not those. I usually like ones that have a belt and i know exactly which ones i'm thinking of i just can't find them right this second they're great yeah these ones so these back to work ones these are so nice i love them and they actually kind of match this outfit to the t where we can do these beige pants and yes she looks so damn sophisticated and she is she's she's sexy she's a damn sexy lady like this is so fall too i love it uh i'm thinking maybe these maroon heels because they match really nicely. And then the favorite part of all is, oh, look, there's the wedding ring right on top of her jacket. <laughs> no. Okay. It's going to be the engagement ring. So I'm going to go ahead and put that baby right there. And it's a nice new shiny ring. And so exciting. Okay, so I'm going to leave everything else. And we are going to get these two back home because she is missing her babies, even though she complains about them so damn much. She misses them absolutely terribly. So although the vacation doesn't end in a couple hours, I think we're going to go ahead and cut it a little bit short because we really did get everything that we wanted to get in already done. So it's kind of a wrap, right? Okay, so let's go home, get these two to do what it do. And uh, I guess go and age up three children and then maybe we'll get to see what they look like and she feels so sick. So she's going to come over here and wake up Hank and she hates to spoil the moment, but she just physically can not deal with it anymore. She's asking him, babe, can we please go because I feel so damn sick. I can't do it. So he's going to come over here and he's just so damn too good to be true. He's going to come over here and kiss, caress her cheek and... Uh, of course, you know, like, I'm not going to be mad if we if we go home. It's totally fine. He's going to go ahead and kiss her cheek, too. Of course, babe. All right, so we're going to have them go ahead and, and uh, go home. Let's see if we can just end the vacation. She's getting a little sassy, too. So she's just all sorts of hormonal. But we're going to go. Oh, am I extending the vacation? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to extend it. I want to cancel it. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Negative, Ghost Rider. I want to go home. <gasps> I do. I really want to go home. So let me see if I can travel home. There we go. Good. Great. Okay. So hopefully everybody is going and we will arrive at our destination. We definitely need to get these people a new freaking house. We need to get them. Oh, mother bucker. And I didn't say the bad word, but I just, if you guys don't know, you probably already know. I ripped off my freaking nails on accident by trying to be a smarty pants and yeah i don't know but i ripped off my nails and they're really 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 tender right now it hurts so all of the children have returned from the nanny i thought they were at home 
this whole time. Oh my gosh. All right. So let me go over here and age them up. But of course, Faye just wants to cuddle them and love on them one last time now that they are babies. You know what I mean? So even though she's Pregos, she's excited. She's so happy to be home. And she can just smell the aroma of her house. It smells so familiar and exciting. The first thing that she does is she walks into the room with her three children and just loves on them. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to actually have another addition to the family. And just the way that Hank looks at her. Do you know what I mean? It's just quite beautiful. It's so cute. It's like perfect. It makes me sick. So here he is, loving on his children. Oh, I should babies. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and age these little chicky noodles up. So the first one we're gonna go ahead and age up is this one here. Uh, this one is Lindy, I believe. We have Lindy here. Okay, no, we're actually gonna age up Sophia. And uh, then we're gonna age up. Um, we're gonna age up Hank Jr. Oh my God, she has black hair. Dear God. So Sophia has black hair, which is weird. Not really because her father has black hair. So believe it or not, believe it or not, the Muggsy Brototoski is coming down the line. <laughs> it's through his freaking grandchildren naturally, right? So that's where the black hair came from. I was like, what? No, nobody has black hair here, but it's, that's a lie. Muggsy has black hair. So I definitely want to make Sophia kind of a social butterfly. Just her name in general kind of just reminds me of someone who would be very social and cheerful and outgoing. And uh, all right. Hank Jr. is also going and aging up here. He has his daddy's brown hair color. And let's make him a little bit of a rambunctious scamp. He's definitely a goofball. Somebody who is going to be always the center of attention, joking, making jokes, being inappropriate, that kind of thing. I can already see that in him. Absolutely, 100%. So Sophia is sad for whatever reason, and that's because she's having a new sibling. She has lipstick on, which is interesting. So now this one we're going to go ahead and age is Lindy. And I want to take them into Create a Sim really quick just to take a peek. Because honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what these ones look like. So it looks like Sophia is the only one with black hair. Lindy, I kind of see being a smart girl. She's very smart, intellectual. She's very um, into books and reading and things of that sort. She's not necessarily the smarter one, but she's definitely the one who is a little more on the geekier side of things. And that's fine. So Sophia is already crying. She's already being a drama queen, a diva, if you will. Because of the fact she's the only one here who has an issue with the fact that she's having a new sibling. So Lindy just can't even deal with it uh, right now at this point. <laughs> she's definitely a Berman girl. I think it's safe to say that. Uh, we're going to go in here and change appearances and see what these little chicklies, chickadees, chicklies, whatever, whatever the hell they're called, they look like. So let's go. Okay, we'll definitely give them a makeover. I'll probably do like a separate video. Um, I see Hank in her, like a lot, a lot. Uh, and then I see in Lindy, I don't know. I see Faye, like she has her profile. It's kind of crazy how unique these kids are look. And then, oh my God. Then you have Mr. Hank Jr. who is utterly freaking perfect down to the T. Like he is flawless. No flaws, nothing. Like, seriously, look at him. And he knows it, too. He's freaking perfect, you guys. Wow. Anyways, those are the three triplets or whatever the situation is. I'm definitely going to give them a makeover maybe in a separate video. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you all next time. <gasps> Bye, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't funk with my head. Obviously, you know what this is. If you don't know what this is, you need to get with the program because even Jennifer knows what this is. This is a arm band and a